Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back Let's to the channel, you guys. We are back with some more of Red Air Redemption. Uh, I'm trying to remember, last episode, we were helping out the Marshall bits, and I think we found or captured somebody that'll help us lead us to Bill Williamson, and then we also met Wes Dickens. What did she just say? Alright, whatever. Um, so we, we met Wes... Oh, shit. Um, hey! Stop it! Um... Alright, cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, we met with Wes Dickens. The scammer of all scams. The scam... The scammers of all scams. Right? Yeah. Uh, he was interesting, and apparently he let us- or told us about this guy named Seth, who could help us with our bill problem. But we'll see about that. How much you want to bet? We're gonna have to do some crazy shit for them until we get what we want. <laughs> okay, so, uh, we got a Seth mission, and then we also have another Bonnie mission. We'll do the Seth mission first. Yeehaw, let's go! <laughs> Come on! What's this sucker doing? Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. West Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. No. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. West Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people. Who got me in this mess in the first place? <laughs> what mess? <laughs> Look at me. What are you doing? Look, scrambling around, looking for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out. My mind's going. Oh, gross. What happened? <laughs> what happened? My partner. He stole half my map. Oh. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. What's my his boy, name? My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man. Oh, you got what betrayed. I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? You a treasure hunter? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. Don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. <laughs> this guy sure. is crazy. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self same. Well, come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses. Get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. Let's go, my guy. <laughs> crazy, on, crazy, man, Seth. Partner. I got you. I got you. Oh All right, on the road again. Now after this, he better help me. How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, hypocrites! The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rotten. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. <laughs> Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they get warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. 
I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. Oh my god. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. He's, I just heard you say something. He's talking to You're himself. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Oh, Seth, yeah. I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. <laughs> I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. Of course. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? Yeah. You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke. All them boys. Yeah. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. I got you, man. I got you. You owe me one. What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a raging fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now... I don't know who I am no more. <laughs> All right, we're here, right? Oh. Whoa there. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Uh, distract him, huh? If I have a little conversation with him. You better stay sneaky, boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this guy is fucking... Lead him away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. Um. This is one god awful assignment. Oh, well, this is a nice this horse. Is better than a side of bacon. Are Whoops. you looking for Let's trouble, Mister? Oh fuck, run! Come on, come on! Good, now let's go back while they're on the search. Come on. I need to go find that I'm here, my man. Did you get in there or what? Good job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. <laughs> okay. Hurry it up then. Moses? Oh, Moses! You got a visitor! Oh my god, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Oh, shit. They look like brothers. Get the hell away from me! Oh my god, this guy. Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! I got you, I got you. Don't trust Seth! He's sick in the mind! Thank god they're both sick in the mind. Come here. Aw, oh, come here, you little punk. Get at me quick. You ain't that damn law. Run, run. Who the hell are you? Run, John, run. You gotta catch up to him. There you go. There you go. I got you now, boy. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Oh fuck. Um, Just leave me alone. What? What happened? The 
fuck happened? What's this got to do with you? What happened? This ain't none of your business! I can't... <laughs> what? Don't trust Seth! He's sick in the mind! Get up! Get away from me! <gasps> Alright, well let me kill him and restart. That was so weird. <laughs> Retry. Alright, come back, Moses. You ain't the damn law! Alright, now I got him. There we go. Why are you doing this? Just name your price. Alright, let's go, friend. John's getting a workout today. <laughs> Whatever he told you, it's a lie. Alright, here you go. Did you think I would find you, Moses? <laughs> Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, sir! Damn you, sir! You've always been a twisty little freak! I ain't telling you shit! <laughs> ah, then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah. piece by piece! <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's ah. gone crazy ah. in the sun. Ah. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston! I want to cut into a bona fide man's flesh. Ain't never cut into a live one before. Oh my god. Oh. Odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Now get away from me once and for all. <laughs> well, ain't that a damn shame? I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Thanks, man. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Best we deal with this now, mister. All right. 20 bucks ain't nothing, but I got you. Here, read this pardon letter. Master, I oh. hope you stay out of trouble now. Come on, just give him that pardon letter so we... <laughs> so, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come ask it. No problem, mister. All right, I'm glad we don't have to go with him to find the treasure map. Mission complete. Hopefully he's on our side now and... Help me get into the bill. Alright guys, we got another mission with West. So, let's go see what he's got. <laughs> Here's this old man again. Going out scamming people. Uh, Mr. Marston! How are you, sir? I'm alright. Doing alright. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? <laughs> I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> oh, very interesting. Look. You thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy. Your plan. I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. 
You a tell man him, who John. says lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull. Yes. Feeding to the vultures myself. Tell him, boy. Oh, see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems... You got more problems? Um, Oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America, <coughs> that lubricant with which we concern ourselves <coughs> is money. Money? <coughs> what are you talking about? Oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. And... I need some danger money. Danger money. Let's sell some more of these cures. Sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? Oh, no. The sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> But come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Now, sir, do that tooth breach. Seth is an interesting fellow, is he not? I wouldn't say interesting. More deeply disturbed. I can see why you two get along. I see the good in everybody, John. It's a flaw of mine. <laughs> I have a soft spot for life's flotsam and jetsam. Connection with them more like, you and Seth have a lot in common. You both rob people if you want. Mind you, at least he waits until they're dead. Oh, my dear boy. Nobody is more critical of drinkers than a drunk who's mended his ways. What are you talking about? Come on now, John. I've heard about you. You spent your life robbing people. It's a little inappropriate to be taking the moral high ground now. He's changed. I had the courtesy to put a gun in their face. Whatever helps you sleep easily at night. We stole from those who had too much. We tried to give to those who had too little. A Robin Hood with spurs. Oh, romantic. You expect me to believe that poppycock? Maybe I'll have the good fortune I don't to be prove able myself to you, man. my nefarious life behind one day and work on the government's dime. Don't talk about things you don't understand. Dear, oh dear, simmer down, my boy. You need to start appreciating your friends more. Folks around here don't see you as any different from Bill Williamson. I didn't think I'd have to huckster snake oil and dig up the dead, that's all. Take it from me, John. Collaboration is the key to success. I can help you. Seth can help you. It's business. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no need to make it quite so personal. Suits me. Some stress. These races are Byzantine in their ferocity, and the terrain is treacherous. People will do just about anything to win. Men die. It's a marvelous spectator sport. Sounds like fun. And you are my wild card, John. They won't be expecting you. So what's your role in all this? Think of me as your spiritual guide. Do I have to? You are a free man. 
purpose, but I strongly recommend it. Imagine, just for today, you are not an aging bounty hunter, and I am not an avant-garde business pioneer. <laughs> no, sir. Today, we are gladiators. Motivation, dear boy. I'm definitely feeling motivated to get the hell out of here. Ah, are we here? Here we are, my boys. Here we are, John. Gap tooth breach. All right, y'all ready to lose? Let's do it. Mr. West Dickens. Come on, John. I suggest we be a hasty retreat. Where's my money? Right. Best remove ourselves from the stage before somebody decides they want their money back. Bye by me. Wasn't that fantastic? The cheers of the crowd, the thunder of the wheels, <laughs> the fallen rocks, the homicidal maniac. Oh, come on, John. Even a cold hearted misanthrope like you must have found that just the tiniest bit exhilarating. Not the friendliest bunch, are they? They take the racing very seriously in these parts, and your participation was not entirely the approved. That was clear. Ah, sport, war, and heartache. <laughs> the guilty pleasures of mankind since the dawn of time. 
I'd get away from the men we just swindled before you start waxing too lyrical. Yes, yes, uh, of course. Well done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Irish? Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Is he uh, Irish? He usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. <laughs> Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? <laughs> Alright, another person we can go to talk to. I guess we get in a squad together. Get a handful of people to take down Bill. They may be a little crazy, but... Nothing wrong with that. Oh man, we got some. We got four missions here. Okay, so we got West, Irish, Seth, and Bonnie. Um, I kind of don't really want to do another West mission right now. Maybe I'll go talk with Irish. Why not? Let's go talk with him. All right, guys. Yes, boy, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving mechanic. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. <sighs> yeah, keep on talking here, Irish. Oh, that's Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. <laughs> What's up, boys? <sighs> Fuck off, boy. This don't concern you. <laughs> When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boy -o. <laughs> Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Law's clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boy -o? The bloody cavalry? <laughs> Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy -o. And you're getting on my nerves. Oh, let's yeah. go. Let's go, kid. So your mom was too busy putting blisters. How about that? A Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life. Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. All right. Let's get this over with. The saloon's calling me. Come on, then. Let's find this guy. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Thick as thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? <laughs> Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. <laughs> the Shit. kind of fellows who are stealing acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. <laughs> you best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. Yeah. 
Here we are. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that chat. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. All right, man. Better not be drunk. I guess we can take our horse down there. Come on! What the hell do you want? Who the hell are you? Shit. Yeah, buddy. I'll drop the hundred fools like you. Come here, kids. Boom, all right, that was pretty easy. Oops. Oh, shit. I doubt you'll be needing this. Oh, get in there, John. It's not here. That lion sack of shit. Really? Damn, he just left me here? Wow, what an asshole. Alrighty, that was a pretty weird mission, Irish. Never trust him. <laughs> Uh, we got a Seth mission right here, so let's go have a chat with him. <laughs> this guy, he's something else, man. Hey, John. Hey, partner. What's up, man? You what you need? You ready to help me? Uh, not quite. Uh, not quite ready. Shocker. Uh, yeah. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. Uh, and I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagine myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized... Realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. <laughs> Got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. You're not even gonna wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? <laughs> Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. Uh -oh. I don't like women, partner. I don't. Not since Mammy died. Seth, what are you going to do with those bodies? I'm going to take them back to a nice quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. I think we should be getting out of here, partner. All right, well. All right. I know a secluded spot where we can search these sleeping beauties. Well, let's go. To the left. We don't want to roll through town with these bodies. Where are you? Come on, don't be shy. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. <laughs> are you talking to them? So what if I am? Are you honestly I feel less shocked? Along with them than in a crowd of people. The way I see it, they lost their souls just like me. You're truly a sick man, Seth. You remind me of why I hate people. For a man who kills so much, you sure seem to have a problem with the dead. Life kills everyone in the end. <laughs> they ain't so different from you and me. Aside from them being dead and rotting, I guess they ain't. All right, Seth, calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. <laughs> oh, my! It's them damn treasure hunters! Oh, oh shit! We don't see them bodies first! Give them up, you bleeding bastard! I'm gonna look for the mess back here! You try to shake those damn rednecks! Whoa, he was skidding. <laughs> Y'all saw that? He was skidding well, across the fucking land. Oh, lag city. Alright, we got him, we got him. Look. Just run off home! 
Are you hiding something from yourself? Oh, you naughty little boy. All right, maybe don't say that. on a little trip. here a while trying to figure this out i'm gonna be rich when you're done with that get over to fort mercer i need you inside that place after i find my treasure mister all right hurry it up now <laughs> i'll need your help got some money nice all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the episode there if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet and make sure to leave a comment showing your support for the channel and i'll see you all in the next video Bye.